Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just kidding. On. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to another episode of Footy Friday. That's right, it's another week, and unfortunately. Unfortunately, another loss for my Adelaide Crows. I, uh, I'm sorry, Adelaide fans. You were three and one. You were sitting pretty. You were loving life, and then I had to choose your team as a team I'm going to support. And they've lost five in a row. I mean, is this karma for all the times I gave Gabe a hard time for being mush? It's got to be because this is rough. I'm not giving up faith. I'm not giving up hope. I'm just bumming out right now, but not too bummed out because it is Footy Friday and I've got another video for you today. This video comes as way of request by Darshan. Thank you, Darshan. Darshan is uh, a great viewer, great subscriber of ours. I think on both channels, he's a big cricket fan as well and loves AFL. So whenever I post a video, I know I'm going to hear from Darshan on Instagram. Usually great, wonderful things. I think always great, wonderful things. Thank you so much for your support. And thanks for this request. He wants me to check out Anthony McDonald, Tipung Woody. Tipung Woody? Um, Tipung Woody is from the Tiwi Islands. And he is a young superstar, it seems like. 28 years old, born in 1993. And let me make sure I got this right. Yes, the Tiwi Islands. He made his debut in 2016. Looks like the first week of the season. Round one against the Gold Coast Suns. And he plays for the Essington. Essington. Oh, man. Come on, Nick. I almost say Bombers because it's the Tiwi Bombers. But the Essington Reserves. VFL. Victoria. And uh, anyways... Ezidin Football Club, and he has been playing with them ever since, as far as I understand here, as far as I can see. And in 2020, not only was he the leading goal scorer for Ezidin in that shortened season, but he also had broke the record for the most consecutive games. So he's something of an Iron Man. In baseball, we have Cal Ripken, who was the ultimate Iron Man, 5,000 some odd games in a row. That's just crazy, 5,000 some odd games in a row. It's incredible. In football, you have Peyton Manning, who's got the most games. Uh, or maybe not. Is it still Brett Favre? I think Pey May Peyton Manning may have come close, but then he got injured. Brett Favre has that record. My man, Philip Rivers, almost got it, but he retired. But still, when you have someone that's going to show up every single day, consecutive starts, consecutive games, they're going to go up there. You can count on them. You know they're banged up. You know they're sick. You know they're hurting. You know they ate something raunchy the night before, but they're still showing up. That is fantastic. And that's what it sounds like McDonald is right here. He's been in the f top 10 of the best and fairest every year. Finished 5th in 2018. He is notable, notable for his explosive pace, excellent ball use, emphatic tackles, and distinctive dreadlock. <laughs> dreadlock, this is according to Wikipedia. I wasn't expecting that part. His mercurial skill, ooh, what a word, mercurial skill, and well-honed game sense has made him an invaluable addition to Essendon's lineup. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. If not, if I'm not, please correct me as I always want to try to say it as closely as I can. And he says right here he's become somewhat of a cult hero, including having a punk song named after him by Picket Palace in 2019 called his full name. So I'm going to be checking out his highlights today. Thank you, Darshan. Thank you, everyone, for checking out Footy Friday and getting this to be a regular thing that gets me pumped up to read your comments. Hopefully gets you pumped up to watch the reaction. I'm going to check out his highlights right now. Before I do, please, if you don't already know it, like the video. It helps me out tremendously. And if you feel like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel where I'm going to be doing this at least every week, at least one time every week. And go ahead and get your request in like Darshan did, Instagram, comment on the page, on the, the video, all that kind of stuff. It all works. But let's not waste any time. Let's check out these highlights right now. 
11 minutes gone and they have not had an inside 50 yet the bombers taylor they're close to one here they might get one now mcdonald tippen runs like away stringer the there. beneficiary needs to finish puts it on the oh look at the umpire the referee kick. dodged that all right he'll stop turn around and kick that so that guy get a mark before the goal so he had the chance to take his time and they reset it he takes the kick oh nice just a little oh no oh Man. Got the dribbling down. It seems like he has is really good at the fundamentals. Wow. Very nice. Accurate. Nice tackle. Wow. Do it all. I'm telling you, fundamentals. That's a mark. Gonna give it a ride. Ooh, hang on. They're gonna the make it. Oh, it did. Woody. Tip and Woody. Woody, and Woody. I'm not. I'm not sure what that reference is in the game. Woody, oh, please help me out. I appreciate it. Oh, he's not slowing down. Nah, yes, he saw that he didn't have a handle on it. Gets that dribbling down. And nice. Would that be considered a specky? Wow. Jeez. Oh, I recognize that voice. Last week. Good kick, and here's the two goals you talked about. Let me back to him, Merritt inside, <laughs> trying to find something on there. Arazio with the tackle. McMillan, McMillan, Ooh. Tip and Woody picks it up. Broke some ankles. Got it in Bell Chambers. McDonald, Tip and Woody can get it and go. The Bombers here, over the top, looking for Stringer. Rafael, can he go with him? Not quite. He can't keep up with him. McDonald, Tip and Woody, wonderful kick to Stringer. Danaher's got to jump over the top here, full spoil the Jeez, he reads McDonald it off the bounce so well. Don't know whether he handballed off. Danaher, oh. one, snap it, goal. That was a nice kick. It was a highlight for the other guy, too. He's just always there. He'll punch it forward. Oh! I didn't know you can punch it into the goal. Yeah. Get open. Oh! Nice angle. <laughs> Look at him plop. He marked. Oh. No! Stop it. Oh! <laughs> he dove and he was able to get the guy's hips. I thought he was going for the ball. Wow. Tippin Woody. Is that just a player's name? I don't know if like a more when you tell what the Woody is in reference to. Oh! That's gotta be a specky, right? Bombers, Bombers ball, you, inside 50. He's got his foot on his back. Oh, that's harsh. Like, just barely. He's got his spikes on him. Nice. Nope, not nice enough. Oh. I'm such an idiot. That's how you say his last name. I would not have pronounced it that way. Tip and Woody. I thought Woody was like a... a oh, I told you I was going to feel stupid. Oh, man. What an idiot. That's how you pronounce his last name. His second surname. Nice. A little spiral on that. I was like, why did he call him Tip and Woody? That's a, wow! Look at his teammate, though. His teammate was... That was a nice play by him, too. I love when they interact with, with the crowd. They get up close, and they just start interacting. That's so awesome. Either for the good or for the bad. Oh! Wow. <laughs> the best chaos man in the business. Love it. Ooh. I 
mean, it looks like he's got a breakaway there, but then it closes up. Nice. Oh, oh man! He, he put a saddle on that guy's back because he's got road. Right down the middle. He's so accurate. Lethal. Look at that pass. I call it a pass. I'm not sure what you call it when you pass with a foot. Just a kick. Jukes. Non stop. Is he kick with both feet? Is he ambidextrous? Let's keep it tidy. Oh, uh, maybe he's just a southpaw. On his left, that would be a remarkable goal. No, I think he can do both. I got it. I should. Oh man, I'm not paying attention. First of all, sorry for being a moron. What's Woody? What's a Woody reference to? Tip and Woody. That's his last name, you moron. Sorry about that, but wow, and that's easy. Here, you know, the way I said it before, that's much easier to say it. Tip and Woody, so easy. Man, it's all these players right here. Adam Traylor, Taylor Walker, Dane Zorko, Patrick Cripps. If you want me to check out any of those highlights, please let me know. I love the highlight reels because even though it's not telling me, it's not teaching me a lot about the game, you get the feel of the game watching the highlights, listening to the commentator. It's, it's very enjoyable for me, and it's a nice feel. I, I really like that. Um, Brian Taylor. I want to say that was his name the whole time. The commentator, I heard him all over the place. I wonder if he's Essendon's commentator or if he's just all the big games. He's there. But that was incredible. A few things I noticed about this player. Let me know if I'm correct because this is just how I'm analyzing it with my novice eyes. Remember, I'm the guy that destroyed Adelaide's season. Five losses in a row. But again, I, I felt like he he's big on the fundamentals. And people might think I'm saying that like as an insult to him, like, oh, all he can do is the basics. No. When you are good with your fundamentals, you do everything the right way. And then when you bust out your natural God-given talent, you just do things even more exceptionally because you have that foundational um, basis. He seemed like he was always where he needed to be. He had his eyes um, on the ball at all times or on the, the player. He had no problem kicking it to pass it to someone closer to the goal. He wasn't trying to hit those 50-meter kicks or whatever. And he was dead accurate wherever he was at. Middle, 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 dead accurate. If he was a field goal kicker in the NFL, he'd get it through the uprights at 40 yards every single time. This guy is so accurate. I'm not sure if he kicks with both legs, but I think that's what I noticed, which is even more impressive. He is good at the marks. He's able to get his placement with his feet and with his legs when he's whether he's straddling or getting tighter up to try to get that leverage for that that mark. He's just he's got it all, it seems like. And in, in the Wikipedia it said about his pace. So obviously he's very fast. I saw that at one play where he chased that guy down and he was very accurate with his tackle on the hips. That was very impressive. But I mean, he he's his dribbling, all that kind of stuff. But he's he just seems like he's in the right place, the right time every time. He's playing every single match, so you know he's beat up a little bit. But he's just given his 100%. And he's a guy that you have to account for when you're doing your, your, your game plan for the opposing team. You want to do a few guys, obviously, but you cannot get beat by Tip and Woody. You've got to have that plan for. At least that's what I'm assuming. That's my assessment on Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. Let me know what you think. Again, this is 2019, the last full season before this current season right now, where hopefully nothing goes wrong. But those were impressive, impressive stats. And this guy just continues to, to be successful, to be consistent. He's got 34 goals in 2017, 26 in 2018, 32 in 2019. He just seems very, very consistent. And the kind of guy that you are grateful that he's on your squad if you're uh, an E fan right there. You're super grateful for that. Question I have is, what do you think about Tip and Woody? Is he one of the stars of the game? Is he not really a big star? Is he a guy that everyone's like, oh, we got to play against Tip and Woody today. This is going to be tough. Let me know your thoughts about AMT. 
technically his full name, A-W-W-M-T. Let me know your thoughts about him. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you appreciate this reaction. And let me know what you want me to react to next week. I really appreciate it. And until next time, adios.